Hey, what is up guys? Tover here, bringing you another high-level Halo Wars commentary today. We're going to be playing on the docks against Drew Abercrombie and Metaloid Monkey. And they will be Anders Arbiter, and I will be with Pursue All Day. And we will be Cutter Arbiter. So, uh, this was a requested game from a uh, last video in the comment section. So, this matchup here. So, uh, that's what I got for you. Uh, so, we're Cutter RB, so we definitely have combo advantage on this map, uh, no matter what people tell you. Uh, some people, uh, I know I've heard a couple times uh, somewhat recently that people think that uh, Anders can win uh, this matchup. Uh, but really, you're banking on the Cutter making a lot of mistakes in order to win this, because uh, this, the tanks and defenders and the way the map is laid out and stuff, it's just so easy to, to play tanks over, uh, over a Goss game. Uh, so, uh, this is, this is also a pretty old game. This is just a custom game from a couple months back when Drew was, uh, grinding a lot. And, uh, yeah. So, um, we're just gonna be doing a pretty standard thing here. Um, I'm gonna be just going into tanks and Pursue is going to be playing defense. And they're probably gonna be going into Warthog, like going Warthogs into Goss. And then either go all RB single summit or double summit. And, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, so... Speaking of this matchup again, I guess, uh, we actually, Metaloid's uh, actually like a super Anders player. Like, he, he's obsessed with Anders pretty much. He um, he actually made like a 20,000 word guide or something on how to play Anders Arby. So uh, I don't I don't know where that is anymore. I'm sure it's on his computer or something. Um, I don't have a link to it or anything, but if Metaloid posts a link in the comments, you can go to your heart's content and read 20,000 words on how to play Anders Arbiter. Uh, in a Word document or something. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see if Metal it, uh, comes up with that um, in the comments section. Uh, but yeah, wh what I was getting at was we actually, um, me and Too Legit a couple months ago played a bunch of games against Metal it in the Blip Bounce, uh, who was who is slash was Metal it, one of Metal it's main partners. Um, and they were just running Anders Arby on the docks, and we were me and Too Legit were running Cutter Arby, and we basically showed, like, six times in a row that Cutter RB is just so much better, uh, no matter what they tried, whether it be like Quick Gren or um, Quick Gren or uh, I think he, I don't even know if he tried Goss any of the games, but um, yeah, he went like Quick Gren with a D-bomb push into tanks and tried to get a bunch of heavies and Gunner and Goss, like just Cutter, it, just tanks and RB are so much better than Goss and RB or Goss and Banshees or whatever uh, the game ends up having. Uh, so I guess back into this game a little bit. Uh, Metal it is on offense. I'm sure he's just uh, for the most part upgrading a ton of pads, and uh, I'm gonna be upgrading one pad here. Oh no, I'm not. I'm doing a uh, pretty much uh, the Kenny down tech build, except I'm not gonna be down teching because uh, I'm probably gonna have to build Wolverines at some point. And if I down tech, I obviously can't build Wolverines. So I'm just going to build a tank out of my back depot. Drew wasn't in off, on offense in time to deny my front depot, but I really don't have money to really build out of it. So, uh, But he does come back in and while I do queue the tank finally. Uh, I queue the tank that I had money for in my back base because I know that tank will be able to get out. And now I queue this tank here, but I know the tank's not going to get out. So I just DQ it, go back, and uh, queue up a supply pad on my back base because I know I'm not going to be able to uh, really candy down tech this game like I... Uh, like you do in most Cutter RB mirrors. So I'm going to be queuing a turret with this money that I'm not going to be able to get a tank out of the depot with. Um, I'm going to queue the turret right there because I know that's going to be a really annoying turret. Anytime he tries to come in and push, he's going to have to uh, deal with that turret. So he leaves one Warthog back to try to uh, weaken the turret a bunch. So maybe it'll be an easy kill later. But I have a tank out now. And uh, I know Metal Ace RB doesn't know where my tank is because I see him on the mini-map of a Pursue's base. And uh, I'm just going to send the tank down to let my turret finish with a decent amount of health and kill a Warthog. So now I believe uh, Metal Aid is running down uh, to try to find my tank because I don't see him on the mini-map anymore. So I'm going to be uh, pushing it randomly. Oh, uh, no, he, he he's still on defense, actually. You just couldn't see his uh, little icon thing. So I'm just going to be sitting back still, uh, pumping tanks. Uh, I don't really have the money to double pump right now uh, because, I build that, because I build that turret. Um... But it's gonna be fine. I'm still, uh, I still have two depots up, and I'll be able to queue another tank soon here, probably. And uh, now I'm gonna be sending my two tanks back at my, uh, my two tanks back to 
try to uh, push off this Arbiter with uh, the help of Pursue's Arbiter. Uh, and if Metal it starts raging me, Pursue will just start raging him back. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to kill him or do a lot of damage to him. So I'm getting Fortress on my Expo right now. Because I know I'm going to need to get into Tech 3 for both Canny and um, and a Wolverine probably. Because I'm pretty sure uh, we just flag glitched at some point. And he has at least one summon up, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I could be wrong, I guess. Because uh, I haven't seen that the flag glitch happen in the game. So I Q a Supply Pad initially, but I'm going to DQ that and just save up for Tech 3. Metal H is Rage running in circles. Uh, I guess he's trying to preserve his Arbiter health instead of uh, trying to engage us. Because now I have three stock tanks and we have an Arbiter if he tries to engage. And uh, he would just have an Arbiter. So Tech 3 is going up. I have uh, an upgraded turret, I believe, on this base to try to deter any like Grenhogs or whatever he has at this point. I'm sure he's uh, and, yep. I'm sure he's in the process of getting Goss. I look over, he's clearing out that expo uh, for a triple base. So I'm gonna send my tanks down here to clear out uh, the triple base and uh, let Pursue get the money to boost his economy a little bit. While uh, Pursue's walking that suicide grunt up, probably to get into a tower, so we have a little bit of extra sight on uh, where the warthogs and and or army are going. So yeah, just clearing out the base and. Uh, Going to queue up another depot. So I'm building a third depot here because I want to get rid of the depot on my main. Uh, having both your depots on your expo is, are... Uh, that means... By having both your depots on your expo, that means your tanks are going to be coming into the fight uh, much quicker than they would be if they are coming out of your main. So I'm, I'm going to end up selling that back depot if I haven't already. And uh, just letting my two depots be on the front base because it's much better. And I haven't sold the back depot. But once this candy gets finished which is halfway up, I'm going to be uh, selling it for just a supply pad because uh, I, I want my depots positioned on the front base where they're going to be coming in with their warthogs and stuff instead of the back base. So uh, we're, we're sitting to, we're looking to be in a pretty good spot right here because um, I'm on double fortress now. I don't think I have any heavies, but I'm, I have one heavy it looks like actually, but I'm actually trying to just get tank numbers up because I know they're going to go for a Gauss push. Uh, right now, there you see it, and we only have one vampire. So right now, while uh, Candy was finishing, was actually the time they needed to go in and push and try to uh, force an engagement. But instead, uh, I have Candy now, and uh, we're just trying to sit back and play uh, defenders because uh, they're in a position with Goss that they pretty much have to come in and try to hit us instead of us uh, pushing them because we can play uh, the defense game for a while. Um, but yeah, here's the engagement finally. I do have Candy. I do miss, I, it looks like I hit a couple of cannies, but for the most part, miss. Uh, our RB is only tech one, their RB is tech two, which means they really don't have any banshees right now. And uh, I'm just going to be, uh, Pursue's doing a pretty good job of raging. I have another tank coming in that's going to have a canny back. And I get a nice canny on the Arbiter, and I'm just going to keep trying to target him down. I'm clicking Pursue because he's low on money, and he still uh, can tear up all these hogs with his red bar RB. And I believe we ended up killing the RB in that engagement, and we killed almost all the hogs. And I think I lost like one tank, maybe, uh, if that. So the only thing that really uh, we lost, we lost um, health on our arbiter and a tank, and we might have lost a vampire or something. And uh, they lost pretty much everything. So um, we're just gonna keep playing defense. We could technically probably go for a push and try to kill the triple uh, in this downtime, but instead uh, we're just gonna decide to sit back. And uh, keep pumping up tanks and um, and uh, continue to gain a lead on them. So I'm going to send my tanks down here. I think Pursue might be uh, considering buying this expo. Because if he can get a shield on that, uh, he'll just get ahead of the other um, the other cubby, Metaloid, uh, when he actually gets that up and running. So uh, just sitting back, double pumping tanks. Uh, the money's still here, so I tell Pursue that, hey, you should pick up some money. And uh, he decides, okay, I guess I'll pick up some money. And uh, it looks like I'm going to go down to the fourth base and uh, candy that down real quick or kill it real quick uh, so he can get even more money. Yeah, I just candy it real quick. I know the Arby, Arby's not even out, so I'm not worried about using my candies on this base. Uh, it's better to just use your candies uh, when you know the Arby's not going to come kill you uh, so you don't lose any unnecessary health tank. Uh, yeah, health on your tanks. So uh, now we're going to um, just barricade the middle because uh, it's such a choke point on this map. That's the only real way you can uh, push uh, with anything unless you Pelican, but you're not going to Pelican Goss Hogs. That's just stupid. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're just going to barricade the middle uh, while I'm letting Pursue pick up money. 
We have a vampire scouting, so I have a little bit of extra sight if I feel like I need to run away or push in and engage. And uh, there's all their stuff. They see I'm barricading. Uh, they're just going to drive down. They drop a cryo. And cryos are really <laughs> annoying to deal with when you're fighting hogs. Because now there's a Tech 2 RV and a bunch of hogs fighting my tanks alone. But now Pursuit runs in with his Tech 2 RV. And he's going to start raging everything that he can. Um, I'm just going to, while he's trying to rage all the Warthogs, I'm trying to uh, canny the Arbiter and or kill the Arbiter. So it looks like we're trying to pull back a little bit here. Um, Pursue's still like, staying and fighting because he's just an Arbiter, so he can kill a bunch of stuff by himself. But uh, I'm just trying to lurk on the outsides as much as I can. And I'm getting my canny back right here on three tanks, and I have a fourth one coming in. And Metal Boy got stuck for a second. He might have ran out of money there, actually. I think that is what happened. And uh, I get a nice candy on Metaloid's Arbiter, and I'm going to force the hogs to pull back. And uh, I'm going to be feel I'm gonna be able to fight these hogs off uh, decently, I guess. It's uh, He's just going to try to hang in there and pick off the tanks, since I only have two right here, and he has maybe like six hogs. Uh, but eventually, if I just pull back to my turret and get some reinforcement tanks, he's going to have to pull back. So we haven't really seen any Banshees yet at this point in the game, and we have about four Vampires. So I'm assuming Metal is still going all RB or he's just stacking up Banshees and not really showing them, uh, waiting for an engagement. Pursuit did buy that base in the end, and he does have a shield on it now, so that's really good. And uh, they're going to push and see the base, but I have uh, tanks to defend, and uh, Pursuit did lose his Arbiter, um, it looks like. It looks like, yeah, it looks like Pursuit lost his Arbiter, and so did they, so it's just going to be my tanks for a little bit defending this Expo. Uh, whenever Pursue's Arby gets out, hopefully this base is still alive, and that way he'll be able to just recall on the base, and we uh, can kill a bunch of hogs, hopefully. Oh, there's there's the air from Metal. It looks like he went Vampires, so it looks like he opted to go um, Vampires and Tech 2 Arby, and Goss against Tanks, Tech 2 Arby, and Vampires. So normally you're going to want to go Goss and Banshees. Um, but I guess since he decided to tech his RB, he just decided to go Vampires, so we couldn't at some point in the game uh, try to switch into Banshees and Tanks, which just dominates um, just dominates like Goss <laughs> uh, altogether. So uh, Pursue's RB did get back out. He recalled, and they dropped a the D-Bomb. And I'm going to use that D-Bomb to my advantage. Uh, <laughs> um, while I try to pick off a bunch of Hogs, I'm just going to keep using my Cannies. I know that RB is going to be running down here any second now, but since they dropped the D-bomb at our base, I can just sit in this D-bomb, and uh, that way Metal League can't rage all my tanks down. Um, so I'm going to building, be building a Wolverine now because I we lost Air Lead. Even though they only have Vampires, I still want to build a Wolverine to help out the air, so uh, and we don't lose control of air by any significant amount, uh, and because I don't want them to be able to be uh, going Tech 2 Arbiter and Banshees this game. Because that would be a real pain for my tanks to deal with. So uh, since they have this D-bomb here still, I'm just going to run into it. Metal it knows there's a D-bomb there. And uh, the D-bomb's gone now, though, so I'm going to have to drop my own D-bomb. And uh, I save... I have three weak tanks, but I do get to drop the D-bomb in time before anything dies and get four... Land, like, five uh, nice cannies. I'm just going to chase his RB. He's going to be forced to recall. And uh, now I'm just going to fight this air real quick to help um, Pursue get something, some air back a little bit. And uh, Pursue's Arby's out, and they're just going to, and he's just going to be trying to rage around and catch some things real quick. Uh, Drew sent one Warthog back to try to kill that turret, and he does successfully. Um, and I'm just going to be sitting back still, it looks like, while Pursue is, uh, Pursue's down to half health, half health. Um, uh, but I'm going to have to heal my tanks over him right uh, as priority, because I have two weak tanks, and they have a Tech 2 Arby, so... If he gets to just run in and kill two tanks real quick, then he's pretty much going to be able to kill all the tanks um, because my numbers would be so depleted. So uh, I'm going to heal my tanks real quick. We're just flag glitching the fourth base. And uh, it looks like they don't have it yet, which is uh, a good sign for us. And um, yeah, I'm just going to sit back and keep double pumping. Now we're just uh, playing defense until I feel like I have a sufficient amount, sufficient amount of tanks to... Uh, save up for power turret because the second you hit power turret in this matchup or the second you hit power turret against hogs is when uh, the tides kind of start to turn to where like maybe it's close when you're uncanny uh to you just pretty much um win the game when you have power turret because while can while can uh, while goss can fight uh canny tanks with a cryo especially uh power turret tanks uh aren't the same story because they're just so much stronger than goss so we do have a station on this um, 
our pursuit does have keep on that base now. He's going to start getting into a double pump of vampires. Uh, while we still think pursues on a single, I mean, we still think metal it is on a single. So uh, this expo is really paying some dividends at this point in the game. So uh, we we get a sneak peek of those hogs pushing up to pursues base. So what I'm going to start doing is splitting my tanks pretty much everywhere. Um, pursues is going to recall initially, but then we see the rest of the hogs are there. So I'm going to have to start going back. We see Metaloid's RB Rage running. Um, they're bypassing my main, my expo where all my tanks were. And I think they're going to go for like a kill the RB and kill the temple uh, kind of strip uh, back there. Because Pursuit recalled by himself. with. Um, but instead, Pursuit's going to be running away like pretty much Black Bar. And Metal is going to run into all my tanks. And I'm going to get land some nice cannies. And Pursuit's RB ends up living, and theirs ends up dying. So now, uh, I, I'm, my heal's still not back, but the second it is, I'm going to uh, drop him a heal. He's probably going to like run away or recall to his expo so he doesn't uh, get picked off by a couple of hogs. And that's what he's doing uh, right now, it looks like. And I'm going to start splitting my tanks everywhere to try to defend. Uh, his main base did take a ton of damage uh, in the process, but and on the flip side, I'm on full pop queued right now, and they haven't really done anything to me. So uh, I can just split my tanks everywhere and try to play defense in as many spots as I can while uh, trying to get try to get into power turret at the same time. And now there's all the Banshees uh, that we were expecting. So it's looking a little iffy at this point because now Pursue, I believe, doesn't have a temple. So he can't really build air right now. And his main base is pretty strict. He does have the expo, so he's not completely out of the game. Uh, but I have like three or four tanks, uh, three or like I think three uh, groups of tanks that are split around the map right now, just trying to play defense and not let these hogs. You see, uh, Drew tried to send his hogs to Pursue's base, turned around because I had tanks, tried to run to the front of my base, had to turn around because I had tanks, tried to get to the back of my base, turned around because I had tanks. So uh, I did a real nice job of splitting all of my units right here, and now he's going to try to go to my main base, but now I'm sending everything back to my main base because he wanted to help with the air. And uh, yeah, so Drew uh, really doesn't know where to go right now because I have my tanks pretty much everywhere. And I'm going to be just running around in circles trying to kill the Warthogs. I'm still on full pop. Uh, Pursue's army is back to uh, good health, so he's going to be able to help me play defense in all these places. I still have that Wolverine, and I have a bunch of tanks. And for the time, for the, uh, for the moment, I'm, I believe Metal Lloyd does have repeating, but his numbers aren't too high. So for the moment, my uh, my tanks and one Wolverine can do a, a decent job of fighting uh, their Banshees. And uh, when Pursue uh, win slash um, when Pursue gets his tempo back up, uh, I'm not sure if he has it back yet. Uh, he'll be able to start pumping vampires and helping me out again with that air war. So now in full pop, I got the PT reactor going up. Um, it doesn't look like he has his tempo back up quite yet, and uh, I'm just gonna be sitting here waiting for PT. Because the second we get PT, it, like I said earlier, is when we can actually try to push and win the game. So I advance that reactor back there, and uh, I have power turret queued. I'm not going to be down teching because I'm already on full pop. Down teching would essentially do me no good. I could upgrade a couple more pads uh, with the down tech money. But it's just a lot safer when I'm already on full pop, and I know they're going to try to stop that power turret. Uh, it's a lot safer for me to just sit back here and um, not even down tech. Uh, making ensuring that power turret gets up is way more important than uh, down taking and getting a couple extra heavy supply pads. So I'm gonna be splitting my tanks to my back depot, and it looks like I'm gonna try to drop a heal on these uh, few weak tanks because I know that they just scouted and they saw power turret going up with that banshee. So uh, I'm just gonna put everything here and stuff it. So if they want to try to deny power turret, I want them to have to lose everything for it. Um, because if they end up losing everything to stop power turret, then I'm still on full pop, basically. Um, and it's not going to matter. I can just get back into power turret. Uh, Metal Lee tries to run in like a hero right here. And I pretty much insta canning him. And his Arbiter is dead. Uh, he went in alone because I guess they were pretty desperate to stop power turret. And they end up dropping a cryo. It does uh, hit my depot and a couple of tanks. Or most of my tanks. But uh, the power turret's pretty close. And Pursue's RB is here raging. Power turret's actually really close. And they're just going to uh, be losing everything despite their D-bomb. The game's going to be over any second now because now I have Power Turret. They don't have their RB. They don't have Air Lead. And uh, we have Shields on both their bases. So this game is essentially over. Uh, I've noticed on a lot of my videos that I get like 1.5 to 2 times the amount of views as I have subscribers. So uh, if you're one of those lurkers, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, I try to post as much as I can. Or at least I try at least once a week to post. 
And uh, I will I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Your team is victorious.